So it's 2.05 p.m. Thursday, 6 September 2018. Uh, so I am going to uh, go to my job agency because Ooh, I'm a bit tired. I don't feel like going. I want to go. I want to go to sleep. This is where I wrote in my journal. I am going to get dressed so I can go to my counseling appointment at the job agency. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like going, but I'm going to go. I'm tired. I don't feel like getting up. I want to go to sleep, but I know if I do that, I will feel bad. I will feel like I'm not fulfilling my obligations. So I have to make myself go, even though I don't feel like going. I have to make myself get dressed, wear makeup, and head on out the door to the job agency. Yeah. So, um, so this is a new one. Let me see. Oh. Yeah. Why does it come out like a liquid? I didn't go to my church thing yesterday. I sent an email, or I actually texted her and I said I was feeling very, I don't know, what did I say? I was not feeling like going in. Um, later I said, I don't, I don't feel like being around people. I don't feel like, uh, I'm not, very, I'm very uncomfortable. Uncomfortable socializing. I, I feel have a lot of anxiety, and um, you know, uh, this is a mood sicker one. Um, so well, she was very understanding, very supportive, very, very positive and encouraging. In my mind, I'm like, oh, you're not gonna, they, they're not gonna like me. They're gonna kick me out because <laughs> I've got that. In a, what is it rejection thing happening and oh, people don't like me they're just there but I, I feel like you know I can't pretend to be happy I, I can't stand it pretending to smile and you know I actually said told her in the email I don't think I'll be friendly to other people <laughs> you know um, so you know yes I, I, I just I just I don't know, maybe, you know, I also mentioned I had to go. I was feeling anxious about going to the counseling appointment. So anyway, I'll be going next Tuesday, but not to the mass. I'll just go to my normal, regular RCIA session. Um, not Tuesday, Wednesday, because I had to actually change that because because uh, Wednesday, um, Tuesday, I have to see my psychiatrist. So I'll be seeing my psychologist on Monday. Tuesday is my psychiatrist. And Wednesday I'll be going to the church and Thursday I'll be going to the final counseling appointment at the job agency so next week I have four days where I have to go out oh my 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 see I, I, I barely need to deal with this because there's barely any hair here Remember how I used to struggle with this <laughs> But I think three sessions at the very least, three or four, or three sessions of ugh, hair removal. It's something, so that's good. I ordered this uh, rosary bead. Um, they shipped it, so I don't know when it's gonna arrive. But yeah, praying the rosary. Uh, it's a thing. It's like um, there's a way to do it. I uh, meditate on the mysteries of the Jesus and his incarnation and the resurrection, and you say Hail Marys as you go through each bead. And uh, I read I read an article on it, but I have to saw some videos. But I have to learn how to do that. Um, also, I've been reading the Bible. I, I uh, so far I've read until chapter 15 of Acts. 
the thing with this is like it's not like he want to read like pages or whatever it's not like that uh, it's about spending time with the word of god and this is something uh, 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 an insight I, heard, I found from listening to this sermon by Derek Prince. Um, he was talking about how the Word of God is the written scripture, the Bible. It is also Jesus, because in John it says, in the beginning uh, there was the Word, the Word was with God and uh, you know so and the word became flesh and lived among us so there uh, John is uh, sort of saying that um, I, I, I'm not sure if that's the right quote but John is saying that Jesus was the word and when he came and lived in, in as a human being the word became flesh so the word of god is the scripture uh so if you, it's like if you want to know who jesus is you read the scripture if you want to um you know like how do you develop a relationship with jesus is by reading the scripture or by praying to him that's how you know who jesus is because jesus is both the word the word in the bible and and, and and by reading those words, your soul will get like, kind of, I don't know, really. <laughs> you will get healed. The words of scripture will heal you. It will um, possibly bring faith into your life. So that's why reading the scripture is important. Because that's how you know who Jesus is. Jesus is, because Jesus is, you know, the Word of God. Um, so anyway, so I've been trying to read. I read very slowly, like, you know, I read where I can, and then, you know, like, and I don't know, and I rest a bit. It's like, and, and then I start reading again, and I rest a bit, because it's hard for me to concentrate. So actually, I had a pretty good sleep. Like after I read this, or read the scripture, I, I find myself like you know just to go in because I'll be, I'll be I read on the bed, so I read the read it for a bit and then I go to sleep. And I had a really I have really good sleep because I think the the word is calming or something, or uh, because I don't get so stressed. Otherwise, I'll have all these stressful thoughts. But because I'm reading the Bible and then I go oh, I go to sleep and I, it's a really nice sleep. And I get up and then, you know, do things and then I, and I read or, you know, so. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, anyway. Uh, oh, my pants today. Oh, oh my goodness. Anyway, um... Well, what a very jumper on topic is this is a bit see-through and that's very immodest of me it was very immodest of me to just because it's this it's kind of see-through so it's like, uh, but, but i'm at the stage it's like i'm still like i like i like showing off <laughs> my uh, feminine features because it's like a way of seeking validation or proving see look my body looks like a woman, which means I must be a woman. <laughs> but that doesn't really make it a woman. A woman is not just a body, it's a spirit, a soul, a psychology, um, a femininity. But, but I am transgender, so I've got not really exactly a, a woman, but uh, I am I, happy where I am. I'm happy with my transition. I'm happy with being allowed to medically transition, and uh, you know, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, yes, I need to uh, gratitude. That's one of the things I wrote. I'm grateful for uh, transitioning, and 
I'm grateful to be living in Australia because there's a lot of freedoms here. And there are places in the world which are, you know, not many freedoms and there's not any healthcare or food. You know, I'm, I'm very grateful to be living in this country. Uh, yeah, because I know a time when I was not. So I guess I am I'm very, very grateful of that. Um, <coughs> Grateful to have good health, clean water, food to eat. I'm grateful to have good sight, good hearing. Grateful to have access uh, to the internet. I'm grateful to know the Lord. Oh yeah, on that thing, I did make a, a channel called Witness to Christ. It's it's like uh, maybe I will upload my Catholic videos if I make them. I know I said I will make them, but at the moment I'm not. Uh, well, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. I should make them, uh, but um, maybe not right now immediately, but maybe at some point I might make them. So I have a thumbnail of Jesus being crucified <laughs> with Mary and uh, John at the, at the bottom of the cross. I think it's in the, one of the Gospels. Um, it's called Witness to Christ. Because uh, that's what, the, when you read the Acts, that's what the, all the apostles say. We are here to testify that Jesus died on the cross and he was risen and he spent time with us after he was put to death. So all the apostles are saying we are witnesses to this resurrection and they, and they confirm their special uh, mission by uh, performing signs and wonders so they, they heal the poor I mean heal people they even Peter even raised someone from the dead uh, you know cast out spirits so this is how in the in the acts when you read it, it's like in order to prove that they had these special power and that they were telling the truth one way the apostles would convince the people is by performing these miracles because when they did the miracles, the people were like, oh my God, these people have special powers, or you know, this. <laughs> so that's when you read it. That's what I got. Like that's how they proved that they were, you know, you know, it was not from human. Uh, it was like a from something supernatural. That's what I, I get from reading it. Oh, um, and there was this one bit where. This is one of these, um, fair, you know, the Pharisees were like angry at the apostles because they were preaching about Jesus and all that. And um, there was this one uh, Pharisee, he was a learned Pharisee, and he said, he, he goes to the Sanhedrin or the council and he tells the uh, high priest and all that, oh, let these people do what they do. Because it's, uh, you know, he, he talks about like how there was this other guy who thought he was great and he had like, like 400 followers and after he died, the followers disbanded and he also talked about someone else who was also preaching like he was great. He also had followers, but after he died, the followers disbanded. So they thought that, so he was saying like, oh, let them preach, let them do their preaching, but because it's not going to last because, you know, because Jesus is dead. Like, they will eventually, you know, be forgotten or something like that. So that guy made that argument. So it's kind of interesting, like, how... Because I, because I was thinking to myself, like, oh, yeah. you know, so they did think about this, you know. They, they did uh, consider that, oh, these, these people will just go die off. Um, but look at where we are now. It's just like some historical process or was there actual a supernatural influence that made people believe why did people believe like you know. anyway it's interesting so i'm gonna go now and uh, yeah so it's um 3 11 pm i'm standing in front of a chinese cooking place where they have ducks or something, chicken, uh, anyway. uh, it 
anyway, uh, so I finished the appointment very quickly because she had to go. Actually, when I was walking there, she called me and said, oh, well, where are you? And I said, I'm five minutes away. And then she goes, oh, okay. So, you know, because she had to go somewhere. So we had a very short appointment. And um, so she actually made an appointment for me for my uh, capacity assessment on the 18th, which is about two weeks away. I have, to go, I have to go to this other suburb, which is in, which is where I used to live when I first came to Australia. And I was like, oh no, I don't want to go back there. You know that suburb? They actually made a TV show about it, where it's like the, the place with the. I don't know, something like the lowest socio-economic <laughs> thing in Australia or something, or in New South Wales. I used to live there. I lived there for three, four years. So anyway, so it's at 1.30 p.m. <sighs> anyway, so I gotta go there. I feel like making a video outside, it's too many people. Anyway, so I didn't talk much and just you know, made the appointment and uh, yeah, so I'll go. So my last session with her is next week. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to reschedule my, uh, because my mom needs a car on Wednesday, so I need to Appreciate you my church to the morning. Maybe I'll go to mass next Wednesday morning. Yeah, so, so loud, so many people. Uh, so maybe I'll go to the mass tomorrow. Oh, my mom's just here. Right, so yeah. Anyway, all right. It's 3:25 p.m. I'm in the car. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, my hairstyle sucks. <laughs> Oh, I've got to go to that place by train because my mom doesn't want to drive as it's very far. So I've got a headache. That scares me going back to that place because it brings back memories, unpleasant memories. Things that happened in that area, the people I used to know. Unpleasant memories, traumatic memories. I don't feel like going back to my past. It's like going back to my past. It's scary. It's scary. I might have to go by myself. What if I get beaten up? Worse. Worse than getting beaten up. What if something like that happens on the train? It's scary. I feel scared. I feel scared. Ooh. Oh, I feel I've got such a big headache. Oh. All this interaction with people, it's just oh, such a headache. Anyway. Oh, uh, it's 3 31 p.m. Ugh. Hair is all over the place. Oh, man, I don't want to show that. It just makes me feel like crap. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I feel a little bit better because I was talking to my mom about uh, going to that place. So I don't have to go by the train. So she's gonna, we're gonna drive there, which is better because then I can stay in the car and I don't have to deal with the people in the train and walking along so that took some stress off of me but I haven't been eating my veggies too and it seems like I don't, I'm not gonna make my veggies too today I got, I got a headache right now it's like it's cloudy oh, I just can't, I can't stand this headache because sometimes in the car I get the um, what do you call it? Um, motion sickness. So I'm gonna probably eat 
some bananas and some buns. Uh, soft like hot dog buns. Just the buns and, and, and um, maybe some peanut butter or something. All that cacao butter. <laughs> I'm trying to manage my uh, emotions by eating. So I, I don't... Yeah. I feel like my face has been changing shape. It's becoming more and more feminine or something. I don't know. Or well, maybe I just feel a bit thin today morning. I haven't been working. My weight has not been... It's around 64 now. It's just bullshit. Because I haven't been eating consistently. You know, I, have been e I haven't been eating my veggies too. And I've been, you know... Uh, I'm not... This past week was not very good for me. I, 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 I am struggling with a lot of motivation. and But at least I, I, I've been reading uh, the Bible. And, uh, anyway. Uh, and my kids and the car. And So hopefully things will be a bit better and um, and yeah, so um, anyway. <laughs>